Hello YouTube, we are here at the river. Gonna go fossil hunting, see what we can find. And I was expecting the water be flowing and it's moving pretty good right over there, but it's not moving, it's not as high as what I thought it was. So it'll be pretty easy. Um, I've got the inner tube with us. It's got the canvas cover and everything. So with that and the water no higher than it is, we should have a real easy time. But we're going to go down there. There's a sandbar. You can't see it yet, but I'll show it later. And we'll see what we can find. Shark's teeth, fossils, dinosaur bones. Oh, yeah. And up there is our gravel bed straight back. And we are in the flotation device. And I've got a spot where I can stand up. And then I'm just holding on to the back and paddling. But I may uh, take it easy and just let it let me float as much as possible. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. This is a good sign. Like, I, I'm really excited. I've only been here about 20 minutes. And I think the trip's going to be great because... Check this out. Check this out. Anybody know? Look at that. Look at that. See, I come here for the fossils and just these strangely pointed rocks just happen to sometimes pop up. And, you know, I always leave them behind. But look at that. Like, unbelievable. I I'm pretty sure, actually, that for this river right here, this is the best one that I've ever seen. How do you like that? Because I'm loving it. I am loving it. Yeah, part of the ear or the shoulder is, is broken. And the tip. But otherwise, man, oh man. Good start to the day. Okay, let's see if I can get this recorded without the wind whipping too badly in the background. Um, one tip that I have... When you're near water and you've got dry gravel, a lot of time, at least around here, it gets real light colored and everything. For me, that's hard to, to really make much out. So what I did, I splashed water from uh, right here up onto the gravel bed. And right away, I found uh, that little guy right there. He was just, just like that. I found him. Uh, this is something else I had found a little bit earlier. It's a piece of bacolite. And it's a broken piece, but it's nice because you can see the suture lines, those squiggly lines. Actually, I just realized you're not in focus. I can, you can see these, uh, there you go, suture lines real well on this one, so it's a nice example. And then here's something else I've already found today, which, you know, I'm real happy about. Two pieces of mastodon tooth enamel. These are broken up mastodon teeth. Not mammoth teeth, but mastodon teeth. And this one here is a part of the ridge, the tip. It'll have these little ridges, kind of like our molars do, but much more pronounced. And so I found a couple pieces of that, so that's real nice. Uh, also, there was uh, this incidus tooth right here. It's got a broken tip. I'm still going to hang on to it, but nothing too special. Well, it's gone somewhat slow for the moment, otherwise I probably wouldn't be highlighting this, but this is a really big boulder of phospholiferous rock. See that one right there? I mean, there's tons of shapes in here, some of them more clean and obvious than others. And then there, there's this one with the... Uh, Ponderosa um, oyster shell. It's a type of oyster shell, and it's still in the matrix. And this one is kind of, well, there's another neat one right there. This one is still, it's kind of a, a geode or a concretion. You know, some of these, they have like a, a yellow type crystal on them. Some people will bust them open, but I've never had any luck doing that. So I don't do that anymore. I don't even bring a, a hammer or anything to do that. Anyway, a neat rock, uh, but way, way too big for me to be 
thinking about carrying home. All right, all right, all right. I just found a, uh, a nice find. I've been finding broken pieces of these, different bone pieces, but, and this one's not in great condition. Yeah, not really great condition at all, but it is a Mosasaur vertebra that's very tumbled around, very broken up. It's still got the basic shape, nice size, but pretty busted up. So that's uh, something. Real happy with it. Check out that current. I know that's nothing, right? I could walk across that. Maybe not on the far side, but all across here, I could walk across that. You want to know where the fossils come from? They come from here. There's a concretion right there. Uh, right there, there's a concretion. But that's part of what the fossils come out of. Anyway, what I really wanted to show you was I was looking down here and there was an old bridge a long time ago that had at least a couple of its pillars made out of uh, pink granite. And I was going to pick up this piece because it's pretty and it's small and could put it in the flower bed or something. Not too heavy to carry out. And whenever I was looking down, I saw something. Maybe my second best find of the day. Let's see. I think it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a nice one. Again, it's beat up a little bit. It's not perfect, but that is a Mosasaur vertebra in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. I am really happy about that. Really, really happy about that. And the Mosasaur, that's a uh, dinosaur-like water creature that used to roam in the seas. Thankfully, they don't anymore because they were pretty vicious. So it was my youngest boy that I brought with me today. And he's not quite the fossil hunter that his brothers are. You're not gonna find it in on the muddy, ugly parts. I told him, well, he, he went across on his own and I told him, hey, uh, look over there. You might find a shark tooth there in the rock. And so he took his stick with him and started beating at it. Anyway, still searching. I got a whole bunch of gravel here in front of me, so wish me luck. Are you guys Doctor Who time travelers? How did y'all wish me luck? And it bring me luck here on the video. Look at that. It's a small one, but it's a nice little shark vertebra. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah. All right, guys, I didn't realize how much luck y'all had wished me. I'm gonna put this down roughly where that is. I'm gonna come back to that. But as I was getting the camera out, I just looked down in front of me and let me see if I can find it again. Uh-oh, I lost sight of it. It was a small one, so what am I finding? Y'all must have known that I like shark vertebra because I just found, there it is. Right there, another little bitty shark vertebra. Yeah, it's not coming out sharp, is it? There we go. Another shark vertebra over here. Sun's in it a little bit. I saw the shark tooth right there and then right next to it is a shark vertebra fragment and then I was scanning and I saw this shark vertebra right there what else there's a tiny little shark tooth tip hey there's another one right there this is unbelievable this is unbelievable what else can we find I'm just gonna pan along and see if I can see anything else what was that? One, two, three, and the broken one. And what else? Let me know if y'all see anything. Let me know. Hey, there's another one right there. That is another one. 
Unbelievable. This is wild. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And a barnacle plate, too. And then this other thing. I'm not sure what those are, but we find those sometimes. This is crazy. This is insane. Anything else? That may be it, but wow. Wow. I think that's a barnacle plate. No, it's something different. Something different. Anything else? I'm not seeing anything else. That may have been it, but wait. Nope. Yep, I found a shark tooth. How about that? There you go. Let's see it a little bit better. Alright, I better start picking this stuff up before I forget where it all is. Gotta go. Alright, so this is the recap of what I found there. One, two, three, four, five shark vertebra plus a broken one, a couple shark teeth, and an incidus jaw fragment, and a uh, barnacle plate. So, unbelievable. How do you like that? I am just thrilled. Wow. Thanks for that wish, guys. I appreciate it. Alright, so I found another uh, barnacle plate, or claw, or whatever they are. And I figured out there'd be more vertebra in that area. And I kept looking, and I found one. I didn't pick it up. I drew about a foot and a half circumference, no diameter, line or a circle around it with it off centered so he wouldn't be perfectly easy to find. He went over there and he found it and then he kept searching he's found two more over there. Well I just picked up a shark tooth, I didn't get it on video and I was looking around and I found something that may be something pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is. This is a section of fused vertebra. You see the line there in the middle, up and down? I mean, it's it's been beat up and everything, but that is a section of what I believe to be fused vertebra. Of what? I'm not sure, but pretty neat. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I started seeing the clues through the different stuff that I was seeing around here. This is going to be a good spot, and I was right. Look at that. First large shark vertebra of the day. A little bit beat up, but nice size. That's about a quarter size. Really nice. Really nice. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Alright, there's something for you. An old whiskey bottle. Top to an old whiskey bottle. Handle there. Come around here, throw it over your shoulder, take a big drink. I don't save stuff like this. At least not this far away from, uh, from the car. It's pretty neat though. Well, I hadn't found that many shark's teeth today, and I hadn't done a good job of getting them on film, so I figured I'd at least show this one here. Pretty nice little fella. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Well, the sun's starting to get low, and the angle for seeing stuff is not as good, so... About to wrap up here. I'm still going to keep my eyes open on the way back, but don't have much expectation. Anyway, thanks for watching. Big thumbs up. Come back again, y'all.